Hello and welcome to Scratch Junior Tutorials with Mr. Taus here on YouTube. If you have not yet subscribed, then make sure you click the red button. If you are subscribed, then you are here mainly because you've got an email telling you I've uploaded a new video. If not, you're keen and you are looking out for the next tip with Scratch Junior. So we'll get started. We're going to start a new project with a plus button. And today's Scratch project is a spooky forest. So we're going to change the background to make it look more like a spooky forest. So we're going to add the woods background with the moon shining in the back. And new characters for this we're gonna have a frog side snake there and a bat there um position them as and where you want them so bat up top flying around snake across the bottom and the frog And then I'm going to add a title, Spooky Forest, spelt correctly. You are able to change the text size. You'll see you, there are six sizes. So we're going to go with a four. And you'll see that black doesn't match up. So we'll change that to white. So Spooky Forest with Mr. Taps. So let's get our sprites to do something. So we'll start with the frog and we'll get the frog to bounce up, bounce down, bounce up, bounce down. So we're gonna get it to hop. Now, in previous lessons, we looked at starting the program when we click on the green button however we are going to introduce a new way of starting our projects and because we've got three characters and each are going to do something different and as a intro to having three sprites do something on a stage i am going to command and control each of the characters with a touch of my finger. So I've got the finger block, and that's in the yellow section. And then blue section for directions, hop to, hop to, and close. Snake, start on the finger. I want the snake to look as if it's moving around. So I'm going to have it increase its size and decrease its size by two, by two, and I want that to repeat. There we go, and close it off. And the last one, the bat. Start on my finger. And then we'll get it to do a flying motion. Tilt to the left and tilt to the right. Tilt to the left. Two. Four. Two. See how that looks. Close it off. That's the first part. And we'll go big screen and we'll take a look. Uh, so tap on the frog, bounces up, tap on the frog, bounces up, hop, hop, ribbit, ribbit, snake, oh, there you go, looks like it's moving, and the bat, there, uh, flying motion, and that is a quick intro and a quick starting point 
for a spooky forest and having characters interact. So I'll leave it there and I will follow up in the next tutorial. As always, tweet me at Mr. Taos, check out YouTube and check out the blog.